How to Glue Polypropylene Have you ever tried to glue polypropylene and found it to be a real challenge? You're not alone. Polypropylene, a common plastic used in many products, has a low surface energy, which makes it difficult for most adhesives to stick to it. Let's start with the basics. Polypropylene is a type of plastic that is versatile and inexpensive, but its low surface energy means most standard adhesives won't work well on it. So, what can you do? One method is to use specialist adhesives specifically designed for bonding polypropylene. For example, Permabond TA4610 is a two-part, toughened acrylic adhesive that can bond polypropylene surfaces without any pretreatment. This adhesive is great because it forms strong bonds that can withstand a lot of stress without breaking. Another option is to use a two-part adhesive like epoxy or polyurethane. These adhesives work by mixing two components together, which then undergo a chemical reaction to form a strong bond. For instance, a two-part epoxy adhesive consists of an epoxy resin and a hardener. You need to mix these components in the right proportions to ensure proper curing. These adhesives are often used for larger surfaces and can be very effective. If you prefer a simpler approach, you can use cyanoacrylate adhesives like Permabond 105. However, these require a primer, such as Permabond Pop, to be applied to the polypropylene surface first. This primer helps increase the surface energy of the polypropylene, making it easier for the adhesive to bond effectively. Chemical pretreatment is another way to go. This involves applying chemicals to the polypropylene surface to increase its surface energy. This method can be a bit tricky and requires careful application, but it works well with non-specialist adhesives. Mechanical fasteners and plastic welding are also options, but they have their own drawbacks. Mechanical fasteners like rivets, bolts, and screws can damage the structural integrity of the plastic, while plastic welding involves heating the plastics to their melting point, which can weaken them. In summer, polypropylene requires the right adhesive and sometimes a bit of preparation. Whether you choose a specialist adhesive, a two-part epoxy, or a cyanoacrylate with a primer, the key is to ensure the adhesive can effectively bond to the low surface energy of the polypropylene. With the right method, you can achieve strong and reliable bonds.